Okay, my current project, I'm making a bunch of drawers. There are all kinds of ways to make drawers. I'm not gonna tell you one way is better than the other. Today, I'm gonna use something called a small drawer lock bit, and I thought I'd just put together a little tutorial to go with that. So let's take a look. Uh, this bit is from Lee Valley Tools. I'm not actually sure if you can get it elsewhere. Um, It's meant for stock between a quarter inch and a half inch thick. You need to use it in a router table with a router fence. On the website they have uh, detailed instructions. There are two different kinds of cuts you can make. They have what's called a blind cut for half inch stock and they have what's called a through cut for quarter inch stock. I have stock, that actually my stock is a little bit more than a half inch thick, just a touch. I will be using this method. So the cool feature of this bit is that you only need one router table set up to cut everything. First you set the depth of the bit to a quarter inch, which is half the thickness of your stock. And then you set the fence so that the center of the angled cutter is aligned with the center of the board, bearing in mind that the lousy camera angle is of course entirely optional. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then you make test cut after test cut, making adjustments to the fence primarily as needed. The drawer sides are held against the fence for their cut, and the drawer fronts and drawer backs are held against the table for their cut. And then the two pieces lock together. Just like this. This is the result of my fourth test cut. I'm pretty impressed. I got it that quickly with four. This is the, f sorry. This is the front or the back of the drawer. This is the side. And there's, is it in the focus? Yes, there's the joint. Two pieces locked together like that. Obviously, you really don't want to get the two pieces mixed up, so that's why I lined up and I did all my front and back pieces first, and now I'm going to do all my side pieces. So once you got the router bit set, everything goes pretty quickly. Um, just as long as you keep things organized, you don't mess up what you're doing, then you can knock out a bunch of drawers pretty quickly. One thing you gotta watch out for, I got a bit burned on it this time. You really, you really, when you're doing the sides, you really gotta make sure that it doesn't tip at all. I, I had a couple that drifted a bit, I had to recut them, making sure I'm holding them flat as you go along. With a tall and skinny piece, that can be really easy for it to flop around. Just gotta be really careful there. So the joinery is the focus of this video, so I, I didn't really bother showing cutting the dados along the bottom of the drawer that you need for the drawer bottoms. So the corners all nicely interlock and we'll lay in some glue and clamp it all up. So I used 3 16 inch plywood for the drawer bottoms. I didn't film that process because I realized during the glue up that the plywood bottoms would really help with squaring up the drawers, so I had to work very quickly. And, and afterwards I cleaned up some of the glue squeeze out on the sander. So here's a close up, let's see if I can get this into focus. This is a finished joint here, interlocking finished joint. Now to be fair, here's one of the back joints, that one just didn't close up as nicely as I might have liked, but fortunately for me it's in the back. But it's a quick and simple joint. Once you have the router table set, that's the bottom of the drawer. So, let me show it in the cabinet. And that's about it for this one. We got a nice set of drawers put together for this nightstand that I'm building. 
and uh, they're not finished yet. I still want to put a um, I'm going to put a front on each of the drawers so it'll match the top of the uh, nightstand. I think the red and the white I've got it on another on another project. It looks really nice, but I just wanted to make a short video just showing a, a slightly different kind of drawer building technique that I use every now and then, and I think that's about it. And so until next time, we will see you later, and hopefully next time might be this video. It's been dragging on way too long. So, we'll see you later. Of course, it's going to get stuck when I'm filming. Um, yeah, as always, just stumble over the words and think up something else to say.